I hate terrible barbecue sauce, man. And the only reason I hate it is because I make my own and it's pretty damn good. What's up guys? My name is Mel Rodriguez. I am the founder of La Traila Barbecue. You may have heard of us. We've been around for quite some time. Soon to be Tejano Barbecue coming July, June or July, 2024. What we're doing today is we're doing a little taste test with random barbecue sauces that you can find in your local grocery. I think these were all purchased at a local grocery store here in, where are we? Southwest Kendall, I guess. Publix maybe, yeah, I don't know. Man. So yeah, we're just gonna kind of go through the motions here and see what's what's good, what's not good, and you know, see what we can recommend to you guys. So the first one we're gonna go with is number one. This one looks like a very thick, consistency style barbecue sauce maybe some i don't know what this this probably looks like sweet baby rays i don't know man but we're gonna try it out we've got some lovely chicken nuggets here let's go ahead and dip it once um hmm very mild very very sweet not my favorite i'm kind of used to something a little different but you know again Something you can slather over some chicken, I think would um, probably be your best bet with that one. So I'll go with the second one. The second one you can tell is a little more vinegar based, a little loose, a little lighter in color. So who knows? Let's see what this is. Looks more like a hot sauce. Mmm. Yep, very vinegar based, vinegary based barbecue sauce. I can see how that's more like a marinade, not like a barbecue sauce, but Man, I don't know. Maybe I just got, I came here on a on an empty stomach and everything's starting to taste a little good. I don't know, man, but <laughs> that one's not too bad. Kind of like that one. It's kind of like a mix between a uh, Carolina style sauce and a, uh, you know, Texas vinegar based sauce. Let's go with the third one. Third one's a little thick, kind of similar to the first one. Actually tastes almost the exact same. Not too different. Actually a little more subtle in, 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 in the actual taste, um, the sweetness and the vinegar and all of the other things that probably have in it. I don't, it's not very salty, it's not very sweet. It's kind of like down the middle, um, which actually probably better. I'm gonna put these two up here just to say that I like those two. Um, this probably tastes something more like the barbecue sauce you'll get at uh, fucking Wendy's. You know, that's kind of what that one tastes like. Go with the third or fourth one. Oops. Fuck. <laughs> Alright. <coughs> that one is not very good, man. I do get hints of like brown sugar, which normally I like brown sugar. But it has like a jerky taste too. So it's not like your traditional barbecue sauce that I'd want to eat with chicken nuggets. And it got me a little in the back of the neck, man, which normally I don't like with barbecue sauces. So um, yeah, definitely not that one. That one's not very good. This one right here is a little more loose. I said in the beginning, I was like, this one I might like more than all of the other ones, but, cause this one's more like a, like a, like a hot sauce, let's see. I was wrong. That's fucking disgusting. Mmm. That one's not good at all, man. That's probably like the cheapest one you can pop possibly buy at the grocery store. That's probably like the great value of the Publix brand. Oh, damn, that's not good. That one is probably the 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 lowest grade barbecue sauce you can probably have. Probably on this panel. Maybe that one over there, but we'll see. Five, not good. It kind of reminds me of just like a very very cheap ketchup that's kind of what that reminds me of but with a lot of vinegar and there's no sweetness to that one number six all right this one, this one's a little smokier still very mild and and taste it kind of reminds me of like a craft barbecue sauce one that just kind of is just a regular base you want to buy that one to kind of mix it with other things to like create your own barbecue sauce. So that's kind of what that one tastes like. More of like a base barbecue sauce, which might not be bad because you can mix that with other ones that probably with a couple of these other ones just to kind of like balance it out. 
but it does have a lot of smoky flavor, so chances are they probably use a lot of liquid smoke. Um, let's go to number seven. Nope. <coughs> Put that one up there. <coughs> that one's very similar to number five. Again, we're talking like shitty ketchup, maybe on the verge of like being Tabasco without the heat. Not good. So these are probably the two cheap ones, the cheapest ones on the fucking panel right now. I hate terrible barbecue sauce, man. And the only reason I hate it is because I make my own and it's pretty damn good. What I noticed when I first started the barbecue restaurant with barbecue sauce, we would go with a like strong vinegar, you know, Texas style sauce, which is basically just all savory um, with a really, really like high pepper, like taste, like profile. Found out people don't like that here. You know, people don't like spice. So, you know, we kind of married it with a Carolina style barbecue sauce, which actually worked for me because now it's like, okay, this can go with chicken, this can go with beef. And that's kind of what you look for with barbecue sauces. You want them to be kind of universal in the sense that you can eat them with pork, beef, you know, anything else that you want to like kind of dip in or slather a rack of ribs with or, you know, throw all over your brisket sandwich. Cause that's kind of like the, uh, the approach that I take with this. This episode of Pancom Podcast is brought to you by our sponsor, Black and M81 Cigars by Drew Estate. M81 Cigars by Drew Estate is a passion project brought to you by three immensely talented and vastly experienced cigar enthusiasts. Jonathan Drew, of course, founder and president of Drew Estate, James Hetfield, Metallica co-founder, singer and guitarist, and Rob Dietrich, the master distiller and blender of blackened American whiskey. M81 Cigars has a wrapper of Mexican San Andreas, a binder of Connecticut Broadleaf, and fillers are a blend of Nicaraguan and Pennsylvania Broadleaf. M81 comes in four different sizes, Robusto, Corona Doble, Corona, and Toro. I previously smoked a Corona, I enjoyed it. This is a Toro. I think for me personally, I enjoy the Corona the most, but I think for any avid cigar smoker, you're gonna go through all four of these and you're gonna enjoy them all differently. For more information on M81 cigars, just visit DrewEstate.com and they'll get you everything you need. Good, this is probably gonna be the same because it looks the same. <coughs> yeah. It's the same. <coughs> Man, I didn't realize how bad barbecue sauces were at the grocery store. <laughs> you know, I think my favorite barbecue sauce, like if I were gonna go to the grocery store and buy a barbecue sauce, the fav my favorite has gotta be Stubbs. Or the old faithful Sweet Baby, like Sweet Baby Rays. Like those two, very consistent. And if you wanna like switch it up with anything else, like you can get something like a sweet heat, um, a brown sugar, um, which Sweet Baby Ray's is like really big on. And they also switch it up with like a Carolina sauce. Um, I think Sweet Baby Ray's does that. I don't know if Stubbs does, but their old original Stubbs is probably like hands down the best barbecue sauce you can buy in the supermarket. Number nine, let's see. Again, these are gonna be pretty consistent with the first couple that I tried. Yeah, um, that one's not bad, man. That one's actually like a, uh, I'd say like a barbecue sauce you could probably pick up at, I don't know. That was not bad. I kind of like that one too, because it's a little sweet. It's not spicy. Um, it could probably go with just about anything. I would probably slather that over a rack of ribs and uh, candy up that crust but uh, it's definitely not as sweet as the first two that I liked, but the consistency of it's really nice. You can tell that, you know, again, that one's also kind of like a base barbecue sauce that you could probably mix with something else and kind of make it your own. And that's what a lot of people do, right? They'll grab one of these bottled sauces, then they'll add like their own little uh, concoction of spices and maybe you need other sauces, hot sauces, just to kind of make it their own. I have a friend of mine who has like 50 ingredients, man, that. He will go to the grocery store, he'll buy like the uh, Cattleman's Base uh, smoky barbecue sauce, and then he'll grab like 10 other things, spices, and then other sauces that he'll just start to mix up. I think one of the biggest ingredients that you can do with barbecue sauces is, is like apple cider vinegar, mustard, 
brown sugar, and then you can add all of the spices that you want. Sometimes you might want to get some Tabasco, something like that, just to kind of add a little heat. Salt, pepper, garlic, you know, all of those things, I think make for a really good barbecue sauce. But for now, on this panel, man, I'd say the majority of them are really bad. Um, and I and I like barbecue sauce with, you know, random fucking chicken nuggets, you know? Yeah. But, you know, in my opinion, I, I think, out of these nine, you have one, two, three, and four, and they're all pretty consistent, right? Like if you look at them, they're all like, you know, very processed. You know what I'm saying? Like, look at that. When we're talking about processed, you know, like the xanthan gums, you know, the high fructose corn syrup, like those things that kind of keep the, uh, the consistency, but also just to preserve them, right? So you, you can keep this in your fridge probably for like six months to a year. You know what I'm saying? So if you're one that just kind of likes to have barbecue sauce on hand, these are the ones that you want to go for because these will probably stay in your fridge, man, for at least a year. So out of these four, I'm going to bring this one back because that one. Change your mind. Yeah. So out of these four, we'll go back through them again. So again, the first one here, probably it's got to be Sweet Baby Ray's, man. It's got to be gotta be i will say sweet baby rays and stubs are both in here so if you want to try to guess which one which ones they are challenge accepted my <laughs> friend just by looking at it i'd probably tell This is Stubbs, gotta be Stubbs. I'm gonna put that right there. Mark my words, Stubbs. I'll probably put, I'll put money on that one. Let's see. No, that's not Stubbs, can't be. This is the last one. Hmm. I mean, these two right here, probably the clear winners out of these other four. So I'm thinking if we were gonna call it out, this would be Sweet Baby Ray's, and then this one, it'd be one of these two Sweet Baby Ray's, and then this one will be your stubs. Barbecue sauces are interesting though, man, because I mean, you can do whatever you want. Depending on the flavor profile that you wanna create, there's not very many like variances of barbecue sauce across the country, right? So you'll have like your Memphis style sweet, You'll have your savory vinegar, like smoky Texas flavors, and then you'll have your Carolina. And then in Carolina, you have like the two types, right? You have your sweet, and then you have your very, very vinegar, like yeah. base, like mop sauces. And down here, what I've come to realize is that people really like that, you know, mixture of the Carolina sweet and savory kind of combination. So that's kind of what I like too because again, it's pretty versatile in the sense that you can use it with just about any cut of meat. And people like the one I made, you know? Everyone, every time I, every time someone's asking me, hey, can you bottle this already? I'm like, yo, it's, it's coming, man, just relax. It takes time. Uh, there's another one, man, that I really like. It's Alabama white sauce, pretty slept on. Um, you can use that for chicken, you can use that for salad dressings, you can use that for a bunch of stuff, man, and it's really good because it coats chicken really, really well, not only sweet, but it also has that like really vinegary taste um, and it's mayo based, which again, completely different from anything else. But uh, if I were gonna go to the grocery store, I'd probably look for at least one out of these three up here. I knew it, I fucking knew it. This did not taste like Stubbed Original, man. Sugar-free, yep. Sweet Baby Rays, hey. Not bad, dude. Not bad. Publix, man, doesn't doesn't let me down. Never does. Um, this is the original like barbecue sauce. I mean, obviously, it's you know the high fructose high fructose corn syrup like shit that you can pretty much expect in any like mass produced barbecue sauce, right? Like this is it. It's good. You know, the sugar content and obviously is what people go for. So. It's consistent. I don't know what our barbecue sauce for Rip Man, this is terrible. I don't know what to tell him, man. Like, this is not good. 549 for this bottle. 
I wouldn't pay that at all. I mean, it wasn't the worst one, but it wasn't, it was definitely not a barbecue sauce that I would pick over the three that I kind of like, said that I like more. Um, so you don't have to say anything about Sweet Baby Ray's, man. Like, everyone here doesn't already know. This is probably in everyone's fridge, man. Um, this is, I give it to them, man. They, they're pretty good at what they do. And you know, this one right here, you can pretty much take it and make it your own with any other ingredients. Um, I've had this one before, man, and there's a reason why I didn't like it. It's sugar-free, but hickory flavor too, man. I mean, I'm not a big fan of hickory anything. I mean, the wood is all right, but yeah, I wouldn't buy that one at all. And this was probably, what, four bucks? This was not good at all. So what is this? Open pit barbecue sauce, the original. It's the true pit master's choice. Highly doubt it, man. This is, this is, I mean, I guess the good thing is it, it's low in calorie count, so that's that's good. But you know, you still have like the high fructose corn syrup. You got distilled vinegar. Yeah, this is not good, man. This is terrible, actually. Um, bullseye, yeah. Same thing, man. This is kind of like, that was one of the ones that you would put. Yeah, this was one of the ones, and it's not bad, right? It's 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 sweet, it's thick. Look at that, man. It's good for a year. Told you. This will sit in your fridge for a year, man. Probably two years, and if you don't finish it, you know, in the first go around. But yeah, this is. I mean, it's it's very similar to the other two, right? Like, I mean, and you can see it, right? Look at this. It's very thick, and the consistency is. You can tell there's a lot of sugar in it. What the heck is this? Wahlburger sauce. This was bad, dude. This one was really bad. Um, and again, it goes back to this right here. That's, this is because they all look the same, right? Look, look at the consistency in this. Like very watery, pale in color. Same thing here. Look, look at this. Just, I'm gonna taste it out of the bottle, dude. <coughs> yeah, same reaction, man. I mean. If they're putting this on burgers, dude, it, it, it almost just tastes like ketchup, right? Like there's nothing to it. Yeah, dude, like why not, right? Why not, why not? Ah, I guess it doesn't have to be good. And then, you know, your, your stub's original, bro. Like, what is this? Rib ranch. Ah, see, I don't know, man. You know, the only reason I chose this one to being the stubs was because I saw like pepper flakes in it. And usually, and look, I missed it. It's all in here. So look at that. If you come, come close. Okay. Yeah. Can you see them? Yeah. Like that's when I knew. I was like, you know what? One of these has to be. And I, I think I saw more pepper flakes in this one over here. But I also knew that Stubbs is not that thick, so I should have known better. But, yeah. Very. Very vinegar forward, man. Um, you can obviously taste the, the, the tomato base in that, um, but you also get more of the, uh, the spices that it comes with. So high in pepper, you can taste the onion, you can taste the garlic, you can taste all of those things. And I think that's what I like most about this one because it also works as a good base that you can mix with other barbecue sauces to kind of make it your own, right? Depending on what you want to use it with. Um, and I think I said this one was probably the better one. And didn't I say I would slather this all over a fucking rack of ribs? Uh... Yep. Very sweet, subtle, no junk, simple ingredients, original barbecue sauce. This is actually pretty good. All the same stuff, man. Brown sugar, tomato puree, um, distilled vinegar, molasses, cornstarch, salt, spices, onion, garlic powder, all the same stuff. How much is this? That's the most expensive one, five seventy nine. dollars I'd probably have to say this one's the best of the bunch. Yeah. Yeah. Rib rack. No artificial ingredients, non-GMO, like no high fructose corn syrup, gluten-free. Next time I'm at uh, Publix, I'm probably gonna be looking for rib rack. I'm gonna have to say rib rack was the ultimate winner. Damn good. Um, I can't wait to mess with this one because this one, like I said, probably mix it with something else and make it really good. This was pretty fun. I learned a lot about shitty barbecue sauces 
and a couple good ones that you can pick up at your local grocery store. Uh, where you can find me, you can find me at Chef Mel Rodriguez on uh, Instagram, or you can find you know, my upcoming restaurant, uh, Tejano Barbecue, opening maybe sometime in the summer of 2024 at Tejano Barbecue. You can also visit the website, tejanobarbecue.com. Those are the three places that you can find me anytime of day. Mm -hmm.